Hello, welcome back. So, I've just beaten some egg here in a bowl. And um, that's for my glaze, for my croissant. So I've got, I, we've got a lovely rectangle of pastry, quite even. I've trimmed off the edges. Um, we're going to get our knife. So what we do, we basically um, take a hand and we sort of measure four fingers across, like the width of four fingers. Um, obviously, if some people have got bigger hands than others, that's going to happen. So you're gonna, your croissants are going to be slightly bigger than mine. I've got fairly small hands. So we measure four fingers across. That's our gauge. So what we do, um, we take our knife, uh, a bit of a, be careful not to cut, be, uh, a, a slight angle, not very good at maths and angles, so about like, I think it's like 30 degree angle or something like that. So basically we, we're bringing the knife down, so, and we're doing that guillotine kind of motion, rocking kind of motion, to slowly, um, carefully separate the pastry. Um, so we're keeping it as even as possible, basically. So we've got our triangle basically. So we've got our lovely, so what we need to do, we kind of need to lengthen and taper almost. So we've got a lovely um, thinner sort of end here. And we're just sort of just, we're just, we're using our fingers like this, just to kind of um, squish the dough. Not, not to take it out of shape, but to, to lengthen so we, so we're hanging it, so we're using gravity to kind of um, make it longer as it, as it hangs. <laughs> okay, does that make sense? So, so now we've got our sort of tapered triangle here. And it doesn't have to be an exact triangle. It's fine. It's, they're just going to be rolled up. So this is the idea. So you get your, your, you get your um, lovely piece of pastry and we we do like an incision a slit um, we do this because we want them in a sort of a crescent shape like a, like a croissant so we want we want a nice kind of curved sort of um, so we, we're still using our pastry, pastry brush here um, so we are we are going to roll so we have to be careful. There's, there's, there's obviously quite a lot of um, flour on the bottom here, so I don't want. So we're going to start rolling. So with the with the two with the two kind of little the slits. So that's your your side. Your your you created like a little curve. So we're carefully rolling, 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 rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. There we go. And right there we are. Look at this. We have a beautiful little little cross on there. It's little now, but it won't be in two hours. Trust me. So we have a nice uh, baking sheet with baking parchment that we've prepared. I've prepared. So we're just going to place them on there and there's no need to stick with egg wash or they will, they will stay kind of together. So see what I've done here. So I've put them on here so I've, I've made sure that the point is sort of facing down so it, it's the weight of the, the heavier part of the croissant. But that is, that is a lovely little half moon shape there. Can you see that? Very nice, isn't it? Right, so with the next part of the dough, um, we take our four fingers, again, as a gauge. So we are now, um, we're cutting, because it's because this one's already come at an angle, slightly, we are cutting up, and we're just doing a straight, straight line. There we go. Okay. Right, so here we are, this is our, and while you're doing this you can actually start, you know, brush off that excess flour as well, that's another good tip. 
So, a nice, with, with practice you get much better at doing this, trust me. And then you get, they get neater. So we're gonna, I might actually roll them up on the grease proof because I don't want to get any flour on it. So I'm gonna start by rolling. I think these are going to make that pen. I wouldn't like to say that's that's almost perfect. That one. Look at that one. Wow. So much pleasure in doing these. It's just one of these. So you want to keep them quite spaced out apart. I think three at a push across widthwise on the baking sheet because they are going to expand. So now we've got our straight edge. We do our four fingers again and then we come down at an angle. So do you understand what I'm doing? It's, it's quite, quite straightforward. There's no fancy cutting. I mean, these are plain croissants. These are, these are gonna be lovely as they are. Just simple, but if you, if you wanted to do almond croissants, then you could make there are lots of recipes for um, almond paste or frangipan. That's basically like eggs, ground almonds, almond extract. Um, you could put in between um, rolling, rolling the pastries, rolling the croissants up, you could actually put um, the frangipan or the almond paste in between as you're rolling. So that would be a really nice thing to do. So you've got almond croissants, so that would be amazing. Um, you could this is this is perfect for pan au chocolat as well. They taught us how to do pan au chocolat, and um, that was quite straightforward. Um, yeah, it was two little bits of chocolate, good decent quality chocolate. You want dark chocolate, I think. Um, and yeah, you you roll them up into like a little sort of uh, cylinder basically. And yeah, that's that's another. So it's, it's the same pastry that you're using for this, um, like you know, like the vanilla crowns with the raspberry. Yeah, that's a, that's another one you can do. So this this recipe is versatile. And and by the way, you can freeze this. This once you've made the dough, get it in the freezer so you've got fresh croissants when you want on a Sunday morning, for example. Oh, there's a bit of a rip in that one. Never mind, we won't worry about that. So, I'm gonna roll up, roll this one up now. So yeah, you get, you're get, getting the idea, I won't bore you to tears with me doing them all. Um, so this is, I've made three nice croissants here. So with my brush, um, I'm going to just glaze these now. And you cut. And we, at the at the Bread Ahead Bakery School, we had a spray with egg, beaten egg, which was a really good idea. Actually, I don't have a spray to hand because you're not you're you're not having to touch the the dough if you use a spray, and you're just getting a nice even shine. And you want that lovely sheen when they come out of the oven. That stuff gives them their lovely appearance. So you you want to make sure you basically coat these pretty well with beaten egg um, as much as possible so once they're done um, they're going to go into this warm place for 20, 24 degrees C place or hot uh, warmish oven and they're going to prove another two hours and once that's happened um, they the oven's going to turn up of about 180 200 degrees C and um, 12 to 15 minutes in a hot oven it's all they need and they're going to be wonderful and i will show you when they are done give them a go 